how to create and manage your workspace within Adobe Photoshop. So I'm here inside Photoshop and I have literally no workspace whatsoever and it's just a blank page. So let's start to build out a workspace so we can start to save one. First of all, I'll go up to Window and we need an application frame. Let's just click on application frame and that's given us our application frame. Next thing we're going to do, go to Window, I'm going to go to Options and that brings up the option bar at the top. Then we're going to go to Tools and then we've got our tools on the left hand side. Now from here, it's literally a custom job to whatever you want to use, whatever's the most useful for you and your workflow. I like to use layers no matter what I am doing. So I've opened the layer panel and in popped here is the layers, uh, channels and the paths, which is generally connected to one another within Photoshop anyway. Next thing we are gonna add is some color. Add the color palette there. And what we can do is can drag these uh, bits of palettes around to create a new workspace. So let's say we have our layer one on the right hand side and we want to have a color one, which has got patterns and everything um, to the left of that. So we're just gonna drag that. And when we see a little blue bar, we're gonna let go. Now we've got our swatches in there. We could put our gradient tool in there by dragging it in. We can also put patterns in there as well. I'm going to get some typography going. So we need to find our character and our paragraph. I'm going to drag them and put them to the right as well. So once you've got your layout exactly as you want it, it's time to save your workspace. To do this, go to Window, go to Workspace, and we're going to go to New Workspace. I'm going to type in here YouTube Workspace. Once you're happy with it, you can decide which bits you want to choose. I'm going to choose menus and toolbars. I'm going to click on that save. And there we have our workspace saved. To switch between workspaces, I can go to my workspace that I use a lot. And as you can see, I need to reset that. I'm going to go to reset PG workspace. And there we have my workspace that I use on a regular basis. If you want to go back to one which is created, go to YouTube workspace. And then we have our other workspace. So that's how to create and manage your workspace best for your own workflow within Adobe Photoshop. If you got something out of that video, please hit like, consider subscribing, and I will look forward to seeing you in another video shortly. Thanks for watching.